How's it going, guys? It is 1.05 a.m. Saturday, 1st of April. Here in Japan, we've got a past level question for pathology, oncology for step one. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group channel. Down below, now start the clip. 42-year-old woman, three-month history, worsening fatigue and dry cough. Vitals are within normal limits. She visited emergency five months ago for groin pain that was managed with fluids and diclofenic. Just decide to be a flagrant asshole and throw in an obscure NSAID. That's all it is, okay? Keterolac, naproxen, okay, different NSAIDs to be aware of. We've got this histo slide here. I'll chat about this as we move through the question. Mechanism of the electrolyte abnormality in this patient can also be seen, which is the following, okay? Past level, as I said, let's just whip through. Should I say carcinoid tumor on fucking answer? It's going to be a neuroendocrine tumor, small blue cells, S100 positive, classically appendiceal or small bowel. It can secrete serotonin or serotonin-like derivatives, diagnosed with 5-HIAA in the urine, 5-hydroxyindolacetic acid. It caused flushing, diarrhea, diaphoresis, tricuspid regurgitation due to valvular lesions. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, ovarian cancer, wrong fucking answer. So you need to know, and this is going to be extremely obscure if you've never heard this before, for whatever reason, this can cause dermatomyositis. Okay, it's asked on one of the retired NBME forms. So, and if you actually Google this, you'll see that a substantial percentage of people who have dermatomyositis, it comes from ovarian cancer, okay? So just be aware of that obscure association. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, pancreatic adenocarcinoma, wrong answer. So classically associated with true CO sign of malignancy, which is going to be migratory thrombophlebitis, okay? So asymmetric swelling slash erythema slash pain of the limbs which will just be due to thrombosis which within the veins okay it's not limited to pancreatic adenocarcinoma it just tends to be the textbook slash buzzy association can sometimes be uh, bronchogenic adenocarcinoma one of the proposed mechanisms is liberation slash secretion of tissue factor uh, which is factor three of the extrinsic pathway which can precipitate clotting in this case wrong fucking answer Choice D, renal adenocarcinoma, correct answer. So this is just renal cell carcinoma. And why did I choose to write it as renal adenocarcinoma? Okay, quite weird. Is because this is what the NBME will do. For whatever reason, this will confuse students. They're like, adenocarcinoma, that's like weird. That's what NBME does, okay? So this is just renal cell carcinoma. And you need to know that this is a past level histo slide of squamous cell carcinoma of the lung showing us keratin pearls, squamous pearls, these pink circles, okay? And this can secrete PTHRP, parathyroid hormone-related peptide. It's not the same as endogenous PTH. Endogenous PTH is actually suppressed. So PTHRP causes hypercalcemia, low phosphate, and that's why we've got history of stones in this patient. Sounds like ureterolithiasis, groin pain, okay? So hypercalcemia, and you need to know that, holy shit, renal cell carcinoma or renal adenocarcinoma can also secrete PTHRP, same as squamous cell carcinoma lung. Renal cell carcinoma can also secrete EPO. So what they'll do is give you a smoker who has red urine, who has hypercalcemia and polycythemia. That's just very easy pass level for renal cell carcinoma. Real quick, thymoma, wrong fucking answer. You need to know that this can cause myasthenia gravis. Okay, so antibodies against postsynaptic uh, nicotinic receptors. Okay, so acetylcholine receptors. And it's a long discussion. Of course, small cell uh, carcinoma of the lung can uh, secrete uh, antibodies against presynaptic voltage-gated calcium channels, lambert eaton syndrome, different. But thymoma, okay, myasthenia gravis. And patients who have MG, you're going to look for thymoma on chest x-ray slash CT scan of the chest because if you can visualize thymoma and remove it, you can actually cure the MG. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.